for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Hi, and welcome to our tutorials on CSS navigation. In this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and turn this standard list of information here into a tab navigation. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up a browser window here, and you can see the sample of what we're going to be creating. And then later, we're going to show you how to put rounded corners on these in certain browsers. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and click here, and you can go ahead and check out what I've got here as far as my HTML source code here. I've got my navigation in a div. I've gone ahead and ID'd my unordered list as navigation, and I have these four different items on here. I've also placed the HTML5 nav tags around this div to give it some semantic context. So let's go ahead now, let's begin by going into the CSS file that's attached to this document. And I'm going to go ahead and begin by formatting the div navigation. And I want to say that this navigation is going to have um, a bottom border on it. So I'm going to go ahead and do border, bottom. Oops, you know what I forgot there? I forgot my opening curly bracket. Now when I do border bottom, I get my shortcuts coming up. And I want to go ahead and make this a one pixel solid black border. And actually I normally put the color, uh, just to be consistent there, I'll go ahead and do it that way. So I've said put a one pixel border. Now when we go ahead and add the display inline property, you're going to see where that border comes up. I also want to remove any margin from this. So I'm going to go ahead and do zero margin uh, pixels. And I'm also going to want to put a little bit of padding on this navigation. And you'll again, you'll see this a little bit more later. And I'm going to put uh, zero for top padding, zero for right padding, I'm going to go ahead and zero for bottom padding. My left hand padding, because I want my tab navigation to be over a little bit from the edge. You can see that you know, right there. I'm going to go ahead and make my left hand edge start at 10 pixels. So that will bump that first tab over just a little bit. Now again, really can't see anything over here in live view except for the fact that I put a bottom border on the UL tag. If I had put that bottom border on um, the LI tags, they would be on each one. But now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and again I'm going to open up the navigation div and specifically I'm going to call out the UL and the LI tags and I'm going to tell the browser to display those in line as opposed to in a block. So I'm going to go ahead and add those, save this document, let's see what our list looks like now. Now we're getting a little closer. Now the items are being displayed in an inline format and you can see the bottom border of the navigation start to take place. So the next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is format the individual anchor items that are on here. So I'm going to go ahead and again, this is specific to the navigation div. And I'm going to go ahead and say this applies to um, links. And it's also going to apply to um, visited links. And we're going to do the hover effect next. Now, each one of those links, I want to have a particular background color. So the first property I'm going to select is background color, and I'm going to go ahead and make it a very light gray. 
The next thing that I want to do is I want to put a border all the way around them. So that's that square box on the tab. So you can see I've got a background color there and you can see the hover effect also. But I also want to put a border all the way around them. So I'm going to go ahead and do border and I don't need to specify top, bottom, left or right because I want it to be all the way around. And I'm going to say it's going to be a black border, one pixel black solid border. So now I have that specified. I'm going to go ahead and close my style here save it and we'll just click right over here and you'll sort of see what we've got going at that point. Now the next thing that I'm probably going to want to do is I'm going to want to space these. So I need to set the spacing in between the tabs and I also need to sp set the spacing inside of the tabs. Now I really can't judge the spacing in between the tabs until I get the spacing inside of the tab set up. So I'm going to go ahead and say that each one of these items has a certain amount of padding. And I'm going to say we're going to have three pixels of padding, top and bottom, and um, 15 pixels of padding, left and right. I'm going to go ahead and save that and click over here. And there you go. Now my tabs are starting to look a little bit more the way I want them to actually look. Now I also want to take the underline off of that. So I'm going to go ahead and do text decoration and say it's none. And I'm also going to set the font. I'm going to set it to be Arial. And I want to set the font weight, which I'm going to go ahead and make bold. And I'll save it. Click over here. And now you can see the items there a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and do font size and I'm going to go ahead and make these 11 pixels. Save it. Click over here and you'll see everything slims down a little bit. Now I also need that spacing in between the different tabs. So again, after each one of my tabs I want to bump this over. So I'm going to go ahead and say margin right and I'm going to say 10 pixels right now. And you'll see how much it spaces the, that out. I'm going to slim that down to like 4 pixels. And there I go. That's a little bit more reasonable. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and add the hover effect to each one of these buttons. So again, this is specific to the navigation div. And it's going to apply to hover effects. And I want to just change the background color and make it a little bit darker. And I'm going to go ahead and select uh, that for the new background color. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then we're going to come over here and you'll see the hover effect. And again, this is possible because I'm in live view inside of Dreamweaver CS5. Um, now, live view doesn't show you everything. And it's definitely not a substitution for looking at your um, design in a browser. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is, I'm going to go ahead and close Google Chrome here. And then I'm going to say preview in Chrome. And it's going to bring up my navigation. Now you're going to notice here that my line is just a little bit above the bottom line of my tab. So I need to adjust that. That's one thing I noticed right here. And that's right in here. And you remember we had some padding. And I just want to bump that down maybe just a pixel. One pixel. And now when I click it, now you'll see it looks a little bit more lined up. I'll bring Google Chrome up again and go ahead and click the refresh button and now you'll see that line is positioned a little bit closer to the bottom of each one of my LI anchor tabs there. So that's how you do simple tab navigation in Dreamweaver CS5 using CSS. And again in another video we're going to show you how to round the corners off on these. 
Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.